Now, after assessing an infant showing severe symptoms, you're trying to differentiate between respiratory failure and hypoperfusion. Which finding would most likely indicate hypoperfusion? Would it be A, lack of tears when crying, B, quick capillary refill time, C, grunting type breathing, or D, a heavily soaked diaper? Now, understand what it's asking here. This is a test question asking how we know a child is in shock. Now, the most likely cause of this hypoperfusion is hypovolemia. And if you know anything about hypovolemia in kids, vomiting and diarrhea is what we are considering the most likely cause here. Of course, exsanguation or bleeding out is possible, but not as common. Now, I know a lot of students really like the answer D because they're thinking, oh, well, the diaper's really soaked, so that's probably leading to hyperperfusion. Now, I'm not saying that you're wrong. But I am saying that if the kid has a soaked diaper, that's telling you that the kid is perfusing. What it's asking is what symptom here is showing me that this kid is no longer perfusing, is hypoperfusing. And there is one answer that makes the most sense. A states lack of tears when crying because the kid doesn't have the volume or the fluid to have tears. This is a sign of shock. The answer here is A, lack of tears when crying.